Hello YouTube and welcome back to What The Math. Today we're starting chapter 10, Normal Distribution. Now what is this topic about? We've briefly mentioned it before, we've talked about it very briefly, and this is essentially a combination of statistics, uh, or specifically statistics of distribution, wherein you actually combine all your uh, all of your values and you put them on the graph to make something like this. This is what we call a normal distribution curve. And also a little bit of probability where we're going to be calculating a probability of being, let's just say, a number right here. If this is a distribution, what is the probability that you are this number right here? Now, um, this topic is not very difficult, but it does combine two values or two uh, topics from, from before. And it also involves some calculator work. So we, we're going to be using some calculator. Uh, so let's uh, review statistics and let's do a little bit more on normal distribution. And the thing is, whenever you measure anything in real life, for example, let's just measure height. We're going to be measuring height of the, the stick people. And whenever you measure anything, it will always, always, always give you a normal distribution curve. So, or something that looks very similar to this. It can be a little bit different in terms of actual shape, but it will always be um, this kind of a distribution where you have all kinds of different values. And if you combine all of these values, they will give you something like this. Now, here's an example. Let's just use a real life example. Let's uh, measure these uh, people or students uh, from from a school and we're going to measure their height uh, very, very, very specifically and then put it on the graph. So when you measure all of these values, you will get something like this. It will be a graph that will look very similar to this graph. So you have height on the left and then you have number of people or it can be percentages or it can be um, frequency of people on the bottom. So this will be, I'll just say this is frequency. And chances are that there is some kind of an average that will be really, really high. So let's just say uh, the average height of students at our school is going to be 160 centimeters or 1.6 meters. And this value will be the highest. So this will be the highest frequency. Then we have some students that are a little bit taller than that. And we have some students that are a little bit shorter than that. And then some students that are a little bit taller than that. And some students that are a little bit shorter than that. So somewhere over here we have uh, 180. And somewhere over here we have, uh, well, that would be 140, I guess. And then we have maybe some students that are 190. And maybe students, uh, some students are 130. And some students could even be two meters. Probably very unlikely, but maybe. And then some students can be really, really short, like 120 centimeters. And then we have some super tall students with like two meters and 10 centimeters or super short students. And then we have this really small selection of students that are total giants at two meters and 20 centimeters. This is 2.2. .2. And this will be like one meter, 1.00 meters. And so essentially what this gives you is this kind of a curve. And this, uh, this curve will look like this if you try to connect all of these points. And this is what we call a normal distribution. So, and this is actually, it doesn't touch the axis. It just keeps going and going and going forever without actually touching. I shouldn't have drawn it this way. It doesn't actually touch the axis. And this is what we refer to as normal distribution. It, it, it is also known as a bell curve. This is something you'll hear in university because bell curving is common in some universities to essentially try to take all the students' scores and the score average is too low, they'll actually shift your scores to uh, to fit the average. Uh, and th this this is actually a very controversial practice. So essentially what this means is, let's just say you got a 50 on a test, you got a 50% on the test, and uh, the average for this test was very, very low. So it was actually somewhere over here, but it should have been somewhere over here. So the professor may actually lift everyone's average by a certain amount of points, and you'll actually get something like 70%. So your score will be changed to 70%. This is uh, a practice called as bell curving using normal distribution in, in some universities. Actually, some uh, most of the major universities have this to some extent. Uh, this is just to make it a little bit uh, more fair. So, for example, if the test is too hard, you'll get bell curved uh, grade. But it usually doesn't go the other way. If I don't think your grade will fall down uh, as a result of an easy test. Usually, it's it's a case when the test is too hard. So anyway, so let's talk, talk about bell curve and normal distribution. So just a reminder for a normal distribution, your middle right here, this is your mean. And it also can be a median and mode. Not always, but it can also be median and mode. 
and the symbol for mean we're going to be using from now on looks like this it's a greek letter mu uh and this is mean this is what it shows like in your calculator as well so this is mean and then there's something called standard deviation and this is how spread your graph is across the uh, this uh, this distribution and standard deviation here will be equal on both sides so on both sides we have this is our standard deviation of one this is our standard deviation of two if you forgot what standard deviation is uh, do take a look at the video uh, we've, from the statistics uh, chapter that we've previously covered and this is a really important uh, value for this chapter so standard deviation uh, also known as this letter right here it kind of looks like this and this is standard deviation so how spread out your graph is across the distribution so essentially these two symbols are something that we'll be dealing with in this chapter and you do need to try to remember what they look like i'm going to show them to you again uh, but essentially this is it or almost it because we still need to cover one more thing so we need to talk about the notation that's often used in the book and on the test so often you'll have a question that looks something like this and here we're going to go back with heights again so let's just say uh, the height of students is measured at school and we found that the mean of uh, student height is 100.60 centimeters and the standard deviation of uh, height is uh, let's just say 0.2 meters 20 centimeters now the thing is on your test it will not be expressed this way or it might be but it might be also written like this it might be actually written in this format and so it'll actually look something like this. You'll have letter X, then this squiggly thing, big letter N, brackets, and inside brackets you'll have uh, letter mu and letter sigma, but with a square. So this is how you would read this. This is a continuous variable X for a normal distribution uh, where your mean is here and your standard deviation is here, but it's actually is going to have a square sign to it. So for this particular example, we're going to rewrite this. It's going to look like this. It's going to be written as X, then squiggly sign, and then we have brackets, and we put these values here. So we're going to put, uh, let's just use, I guess we're going to be using meters. I don't know why I wrote centimeters here. This is actually a mistake, because this is supposed to be meters. So the answer here will be 1.6, then comma, and our standard deviation is 0 0.02 and this will be squared so this is essentially how you would write this or how it would be written on the test so you have um, a, a distribution x so essentially the height of students is x and it's a normal distribution with mean of 1.6 and with standard deviation of 0.2 and now before we finish i just wanted to show you the normal distribution graph just one more time because there's uh, some things in here that you need to try to uh, remember specifically the standard deviation percentage of certain values so for example here this is our mean right here this is our first standard deviation this is first standard deviation on both sides and what you need to try to remember is for a normal distribution curve when a distribution curve is normal the first standard deviation includes about 34.13% 34.13% of all values. So this right here between this and this, so basically the blue part, it's going to be blue in a second, this blue part is 34%. So I just say 34 to be less accurate. Uh, this other part right here, the purple part, is also 34%. So altogether, this part right here, this whole chunk of two standard deviations from the mean, this will be 68%. So this is 68% which is way, way more than a half. So essentially, most of the values, most of the heights, most of the students will be um, within these parameters. And this will be almost 70% of students that will be actually only within uh, one standard deviation of the mean. Now, the other part right here, the second part, this is the st second standard deviation. Uh, this includes 13.59%, so 13.6%, and this includes 136 as well. So this is already a uh, much smaller value but if you add this together if you add all of this together so essentially we're looking at two standard deviations from the mean if you add all of these values together you'll get so between here and here will roughly be about 95 percent which essentially means this it means that uh 95 percent of all values so almost all of the values lie within two standard deviations of the mean so most of the students will be uh not too short not too tall they'll be within here 
But then you also have these, uh, I wouldn't say outliers, but these extreme values right here and extreme values right here that are uh, either too short or too tall. So, and this, this is not a very big value actually. This is only about 2.15% um, on this side and 2.15% on that side. So about 2% of students will be really, really tall and 2% of students will be really, really short. So everything on this side we would call like super tall, I guess, or basketball player, b-ball player. And this is what we would call uh, down to earth and awesome because it's awesome to be short. And I think I, I would probably be somewhere in that situation as well. Um, all right, so that's it for normal distribution. It's not a very difficult chapter. In the next part, we're going to be talking about probability and finding probability using normal distribution. Thank you for watching and good luck to you. Bye-bye.